Yo guys, welcome to yet another one of my no expense spared videos and today I thought I would share with you the unboxing of this new PS4 limited edition controller that's recently been released and I'm going to go through a few points to watch for you know the dreaded fakes because last year they released a four I believe at the same sort of time um, Sunburst Orange the cherry berry blue, berry blue, um, and a few other colors, alpine green, I think. And at the same time, a load of fakes came onto the market. So I did a video then on how to spot the difference, the fake. I had a fake and I was comparing it to the originals. So I'm kind of guessing there will be a load of fakes appearing yet again. So this is a genuine one as you can see it's the red camo it's rather nice i have to say it doesn't really do it justice in the pictures it's actually a much nicer kind of type of red e color in the i will say the flesh but it's not in the plastic and i'm going to do a couple of these over the next few days i've also got a purple one that arrived this morning as you can see there which is kind of nice as well um, so these could both come from legitimate sources. This came direct from Game. It's the only place that sells the red camo. I think it's limited to Game. Um, and the purple's limited to Curry's PC World, etc, etc. So I'm going to share with you this unboxing. And if you'd like a chance to win one of these, um, I'm going to do a giveaway on it. Um, we are on the 1st of October. And... We shall do a giveaway first in November. So over the next four weeks, you're going to have the opportunity to enter the draw. And how you do that, you ask? Well, it's quite simple. Every time you use my creator code, my epic creator code in the store, and you purchase something, it doesn't matter if it's 50 V-Bucks, 200 V-Bucks, 2,000 V-Bucks, you will get a lottery lucky dip ticket, provided you send me proof of you using my code via Instagram, or if you can't do it that way, do it by two, two screenshots on the PlayStation. But um, yeah, I will need kind of proof that you've done it. Prefer a proper video via Instagram. Send it to my Instagram. You, using my code, purchasing something. Every time you do that, you will get a lucky draw ticket. And on the 1st of November, I will choose somebody. Well, I won't. Cloudbot will. And... Yeah, so every time, doesn't matter if it's 50 V-Bucks you use, spend using my code, 200, 1,000, whatever, it will get you a ticket. The more tickets you got, the more chances you got of winning. And you can either have this one or you can have the purple one. And I, I don't, I won't be playing with these. It's just an unboxing. They will go back in their boxes along with uh, the other controllers I don't use. So it's kind of not going to be played with at all. I just collect them because I'm, because I can, you know, because I can. So, this is going to be a kind of slow unboxing. So I want to basically give you the opportunity to completely have a good look at what the box, like, box looks like. Because the, the controllers, and we will get to the controller, you know, they do a much better job on faking the controller to look at than they do the box. Now, the box, they kind of don't spend so much effort on the box. So, take note. If you do buy one and it's from a source and it's a little bit cheap and you buy one and it's kind of like looking a bit fake, compare it to this box because this is the genuine UK release box. Now, the first thing I notice on the other fakes is generally they don't say red camouflage or any other color. They just generally normally say jet black. And in the box, you have something that's not black. So that should be your first giveaway. That's what I've noticed myself. Um, take a good look at the font, okay, because that's another clue. I mean, the packaging itself, you know, you can feel the quality. Sony uses good quality plastic, good quality cardboard. So I'm doing a very slow perusal of the box. So you have time. If you buy one, you can compare. Because this is really where they let themselves down with the fakes. Again, with the font, the printing on the back, I'm gonna really focus on the English because that's one everybody can read that's from the UK, guaranteed, hopefully. Um, but just take note 
you know this is and again the other thing i've noticed is down here quite often on the sony interactive that's just not very well done look at the colors of it it's kind of a normally if it's a fake it's quite faded and we should do the top again look for red camouflage or whatever color you've bought and if it says jet black and it's orange kind of thinking you bought a fake and that's not to say there aren't cheap versions of these out there at the time i bought this this was on offer 39.99 generally you find them between 40 and 50 so again look at the want right so let's try and open this up so be sure how are we going to do this let's uh put that there let's extend my tripod legs on my really sturdy tripod that cost 199 no expense spared as you can see doesn't wobble at all no just in case you wondered i am still using this honest smart watch and yeah it's all i'm actually using my g-shocks is it G-Shocks are redundant at the moment. And I know that I will use them when I need to use a G-Shock, but for all intents and purposes, I am using the Honor Smartwatch. Still have those to give away as well. Can we get this open without cannibalizing the box? I do not want to wreck the box, bear with me. that sticker off we're nearly there we got it okay that's good so there you go I haven't wrecked the box good job cat you're amazing you can open a cardboard box what skills you have so here we go let's have a look at the actual item Okay, the other thing I'd like to say as well, on the fakes that I have had, um, they don't even have that plastic plastic seal. And in here, inside the box, they have a really cheap, nasty USB connector. So yeah, another strong indicator. Now, this looks more really pink on the video. It's not, it's more like a darker orangey red. And it's got kind of like a metallic finish to it. So, you're not going to see that on the video. I'm not seeing it. Okay, so things to look for, look at on the fakes again. Particular color, this like silver metallic here. Okay, and the highlights here. And the options and the share button. Let's have a listen to the clickiness. Again, you will notice with the, and unfortunately I don't have a fake right now to compare it with you. Um, Cause yeah, I kind of don't keep them because what's the point? But you can hear it on these buttons. And the other thing is the shake. There's no rattle. There is no rattle, right? And the fakes, they normally have smaller batteries and they just rattle a little bit, strong indicator. So let's get that in. So again, compare the font, compare the label, compare the screws, you know, these are all little details that they don't always bother with. Okay, because the first time I got a fake, I'm like, there's something not quite right here, but it wasn't obvious a fake. If I were, somebody just handed me the controller out of the box and said, play with that, I would have put it in my hand and just, yeah, okay, it's fine, it's genuine. And you only kind of notice it, you'd be like, oh, whoa, what's up with this aim? It's not, not quite right. And little things, but if I wasn't immediately suspicious because of the box, I think I would have just put it down to just like a not, like a, a well-used controller or whatever. So yeah, take note of the little details, guys, the box in particular. 
that's where they do not put masses of effort into. Clearly on the box I had, I think it was a sunburst orange I had, and it said jet black, you know? So what, what, what do you do? Anyway, there you have it. Hopefully this gives you an idea. If you do buy one of these and you're like a little bit, oh, that was really cheap, this will help you out. Send it back straight away, guys. Don't even bother keeping it. If you get one and it's a fake, you're no good with first person shooters at all. I mean, it's literally, I don't know what you could use it for, but it's not worth keeping. It honestly isn't. You know, the head, headphone jack was awful on it. It was just distorted and loud. And, you know, there were lots of issues. You know, they all added up to not being worth. I think I paid £25 for the one I bought. And the guy offered me more money back. And I'm like, nah, 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 just take it. So there you have it. Now, if you want a chance to win this, remember, you can win this one or the purple one, which I will do an unboxing and a review of tomorrow. It's not really a review. It's an unboxing and how to spot a damn fake. Just for you, ABC Boria. Damn. So, yeah, a damn fake. Um, so... If you want a chance to win one, remember, use code CATKILLER13 in the Epic Store. Every time you use it, take a video from start to finish. I am wise to those suckers out there that are trying to scam me. Don't bother. You know, finish the transaction. Come off the store. Send me an Instagram video of you using it. You will get a ticket. Every ticket is a chance to win you have 10 tickets you've got 10 chances last time somebody won something they didn't want the giveaway so i had to give them psn credit so if you really don't want me to send you a controller i will happily give you 20 pound psn credit instead which is obviously a better deal for me but you either can either can have the controller or 20 pound psn credit so feel free to use my code and if you like the video please subscribe leave a comment and a thumbs up Thank you very much for watching.